Papa. In this video, we will explain about phonetic symbols. There are the story of phonetic symbols. This sound, short and long vowels, fricative, plosive, applicative, nasal, approximate, and monophone. So, let's move to the first topic. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today I will explain our topic about phonetic symbols. First, uh, we have history about phonetic symbol. A linguist named Otto Jefferson raised the idea of the international phonetic alphabet, and we call EPA. In this letter, to Paul. PC is intended to provide standardization of sounding words from various languages developed by Paul Passi and was inaugurated by Paul Passi and friends in 19th century. First, focus on the sound producing part of the body. Next is the function is to make it easy for non-native to learn the language. Next is explain how a sound can be produced. Next, next to the diphthongs, as you can see, diphthong vowels. Diphthongs vowel, also known as bleeding vowel, is a combination of two adjacent vowel sounds with the same syllable the sounds begin as one vowel and moves toward another for the example we have a a for brick rain case and face next is a high sky uh, five price and we can see uh, on the table next we have a uh, short vowel short vowel uh, in english is noticeable shorter than a long vowel and english short vowel are made with only one mouth position as we can see on the table, first we have a symbol E for the feel, feel different peak as on the example of the sentence or the word feel, minutes, peak, fit, and difficult. As we know, uh, we have a long vowel too in this uh, lip chart. Our English long vowel are noticeable longer than short vowels, like um like this after the vowel symbols like e, e, and for the example e in the week, on the week, and the fifth and the middle and the machine we see next we have a predicative on the consonant sounds based on the uh, phonetic symbols predicative consonant is side this one sound is a combination of sibilant of hissing consonant and also explosive or plosive which means a burst consonant we can produce a fricative consonant by forcing our mouth through the narrow canal that we form by raising two articulators articulator two articulators are the lower lip our lip tongue lower tip and so on for the example, uh, a lower lip with a row of upper teeth. Next, next we have a table of fricative symbols. You can see on the screen. 
Get it? Next, move to the next consonant. We have a plosive consonant. Plosive consonants are made by completely blocking the flow of air as it leaves the body. Normally followed by releasing the air. English phonetic symbol consonant in contain six plosive phoneme like p, p, t, b, k, and g as the table of plosive consonant appreciative consonant appreciative consonant. Sound affricate is a combination of inhibition sound and also fricative of wheezing sound. In addition, this sound can also be referred to as a fricational sound of this consonant. Yes, this is the symbol of affricate. First, we have a ch and j to read. And for the example, we end on the match, choose, cheese, and nature. And for the J, we have age, juggle, juice, and soldier. Kansenan nasal. Nasal kansenan is a sound that we emit through the nasal cavity a nasal sound is a sound like someone who has the flu for the example or the pronunciation we can see on the table we have a M, N, and M so for the example M for the sum and for the no M for angel Next, we have approximate. This is the last consonant on the phonetic uh, symbol. Uh, approximate made by bringing two articulators close together without then touching as sound leaves the body. As, this is the example we have W for watch, when and R for root, G for gel, and for field. Okay, this is the last part of the phonetic symbols. We have the man of tongue. As uh, we can see the definition, man of tongue comes from the Greek as mono, which means one, and uh, adding tongue, which means tune or sound. So monotone is a single sound or single vowel. This is the uh, twelve monotone I will share on the screen. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is the the last one I deliver about phonetic symbols. Thank you. So that's our explanation about phonetic symbol. Thank, Thank you for watching, watching. and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.